What kind of sex do you fancy? Oh, I'll be totally happy with some vegetables, darling. Well then, vegetables it is. Okay, I'll turn on the TV. Regular TV? Uh, are you sure? It, it surely can't be that bad. staying on this channel. Oh, I'm indifferent about it, to be honest. Good. This song gives me so much nostalgia. It triggers so many childhood memories. <sighs> Good times. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. In the meantime, please remember to vote for your favorites. Simply call 102084 and don't forget to add the two digits that belong to your candidate of choice. If you want to vote for Mary, simply dial 07. I hate this. It's so boring to cut vegetables every day. It takes so long. Don't you all hate it when slicing the ingredients is such a waste of time? But now there is an efficient way of preparing vegetables. <clears throat> I got a solution for you. Fantastic delicious. It's the perfect device. I promise you will never have to spend ages cutting vegetables again. It makes it super easy to prepare healthy and delicious food. Your family will love it too in this device. Even the latest oh, market. this looks handy, Perfect and sauce. it's quite a bargain. Oh, it's entirely free. You're helping me. Don't bother. I found some fruits. Get me out of here. Today we have Tori Mega. She's the youngest. Are we child supposed to know these so called celebrities? Oh, I bet they're just some broke people desperately seeking attention. Today it's her choice. Would she eat disgusting worms or crocodile eyes? We will find out soon. Hello, Tori. Where are you? Okay, bring it on. Here are your young friends. Oh my god, that smells disgusting! Oh my, that looks like worms. What's that? Crocodile eyes. Oh my, they look so slimy. Oh, and oh, the worms are still moving. Um, I, I, um, I think I'll take the um, crocodile eye. For the outstanding woman. There is sunshine in London. <laughs> yeah, sure. And Sun UK. in London. So it's warmer than us too. In Scotland, it looks cloudy and windy. So it's a perfect weather for hiking and a whiskey. In Wales, it looks like a cold day and it's also foggy. Well, whatever the weather looks like, have a lovely day. I'm sorry to inform you about this, but the results of your tests are here. Madam, it's not looking good for you. 
You have cysts in both of your ankles and one in your right knee. Take a pop anytime, which will cost you your life. But we can do something. Yeah, like as if that it's would ever happen. Very dangerous surgery. In the worst case scenario, you will lose your legs. But I'm the best doctor in town. Lose my legs? When would the surgery be? Oh, let's see. Um, in a week. It's 9 a.m. It's the only appointment possible in the next three months. So much work. That's impossible. There is no way I can make it to that appointment. I have a really important competition that day. I have to win Olympia! Breathe in. Breathe out. Focus on the smell of these incense sticks. Try to clear your mind. Get ready to invite the voice of love. Embrace your spirits. Some of you might already feel or hear the spirits. Remember to thank your spirits. Thank you for helping Damn, me. Damn, why is she so quiet? She could sing a lullaby with that voice. He's now six feet under. It'd be a gruesome one. I'm so fed up. Can you please give me a scalpel? Here you are. Ouch! We're in the middle of a surgery! Are you crazy? I could ask you the same thing. You cheated on me. What's your damn problem? Well, that you cheated on me with my best friend. Look at you, and now look at her. She's much prettier than you. That's quite primitive behavior, ain't it? I never told you I want a long-lasting relationship or to propose to you. Well, I wanted kids. I thought we had a future, and I love you. I never told you I love you. I never told you I want kids. I never told you I want a future with you. Look at you. No, no. God, this is so pathetic. <laughs> Uh, I'm done with this. What happened to good television? It has indeed gone downhill. Yeah, let's just watch some Netflix. I'm on board with this.